Hey, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for 41 NBC News at 6 o'clock. I'm Michael Warren. And I'm January Keaton. Two young men are dead in separate homicides over the weekend in Dublin. Before the weekend, there were no reported homicides in Dublin all year. Now there's been two in consecutive days. I spoke to the police chief who calls the crimes senseless. Just order over nothing. It went from zero to 100. The normally quiet city of Dublin, the site of two unrelated homicides in two days. That's kind of uh, alarming to say the least, uh, but it's one of those things that just happened. The victims, 26-year-old Jeffrey Edmund, stabbed to death. In jail, charged with his murder, 27-year-old Brenda Rosier. And the other victim, 20-year-old Jaquel Smith, a college student, shot to death. His friend, Raekwon Paldo, is in jail for his murder. You have a college kid home for the weekend, uh, lost his life uh, from an argument that went south. No fighting, just shooting. In both cases, Police Chief Tim Chapman says the murders started with arguments. These are two domestic situations that occurred inside of a house. Police aren't revealing an exact motive, but in the case of Smith, an incident report reveals he was with friends inside this home on Azalea Drive. There was an argument. But what we do know is an individual passed away as a result of anger. A woman inside the home heard a gunshot and found Smith on the couch. He was covered in blood. Our goal was to make it through the year uh, without a homicide. It's, it it saddens my heart. We were close. but yet so far away. Dublin police are still investigating both cases, but these suspected murderers are behind bars. We can uh, allow our citizens to rest a little bit easier. Well, here are the suspects. 27-year-old Brenda Rozier arrested for stabbing Jeffrey Edmund. The other homicide, 21-year-old Raekwon Paldo in jail for shooting his friend, Jaquel Smith, to death. Mm.